Yo, I'm breaking down the first day of pads right now. So, I know a lot of y'all miss the car videos, and I do too. So, I'm making a video on the car. So, on the road again. Doom, doom, doom. I can't wait to get on the road again. Doom, doom, doom. We're back. We're back in the car, guys. Um, and it's actually, let me let me be safe. How many of y'all do that? How many of y'all actually put your seatbelt on when you're pulling out instead of having it on from the beginning? Hopefully I don't crash, y'all. Uh, the first day of pads. Gotta love it. Gotta love that click and that clack. The Jones family in this front office wants us to be a more physical team. And we saw that yesterday. Now, the big news from yesterday, um, and, and this is just kind of a recap of the first day of pads, because while there were some bad nuggets and some, you know, some scares injury-wise, there were also some good things. And I'm reading and hearing a lot of good things that were happening. I'm even seeing with my eyes. You know, you don't really have to be at camp to know when they go live who's doing what and how certain things look. Um, but obviously, the, the big news, and let me roll this one up. The big news is James Washington out for what it looks like will be two months. Now, for me, and this is definitely not a troll. This is definitely not anything. I, you know, it's, this, this is the God's honest truth. For me, I had James Washington being a 3-4 anyway. Because I had Jalen Tolbert winning that job. Um, and I talked about that in the camp battle video that I just think that Jalen Tolbert just has more than James Washington. Hey, it must have rained hard last night in the D.C. area. I can't see anything. So much. It's, it's not as wet out here. Um, I, had, I just have Jalen Tolbert as a better player. And then you go through the whole offseason and, and James Washington wasn't even there. He was barely available for OTAs, barely available for minicamp. I don't know if he really took this offseason serious. And I know I can't say that that's a reason why injuries happen. But, I mean, you would think that if he was training hard, if he would have been there, if he was locked in and shape, maybe it would not have happened. But it happened. We're here. And, of course, every Cowboys fan in the nation – wants to sign uh, Odell Beckham, you know, T.Y. Hilton. And I just don't see the Cowboys doing that. Should they look at it? You know, Cole Beasley, should they look at it? Yeah, you need to. But you also want to see what these young guys can do. Um, you know, I remember when, when Tony Romo got hurt. If we would have signed Dak Prescott, I mean, if we would have signed a, a, a vet, and I think we did, and we ended up cutting him. I can't remember who it was. We would have never knew who Dak Prescott was. Let's let these young guys do some things. Let's let Noah do some things. Yesterday, Simi caught a touchdown. Uh, yesterday, CD Lamb looked like a true, like CD right now. And now that's the one who you need to protect uh, from himself because he'll go 100 miles an hour every play, every rep. He looks like he's ready to take that number one role by the reins. He looks like he's ready to be featured, and Kellen Moore needs to feature him. But what about Tony Pollard? Why not just get him more involved? I don't think that losing James Washington means that you press the panic button. And Foots is not going to. Um, you know, were we even sure that he was going to make this team? You know, he had the touchdown. Um, and, and, I mean, yes, he would have made it, Foots. But I'm just, the point is, I, I wasn't guaranteed that he was going to be a 1,200-yard receiver this year. Like, you went into this year, you, you moved on from Amari Cooper knowing that you need a young guy to step up, and young guys have to step up. So while I'm not happy that James Washington, you never want to see anybody injured, but it is what it is. Tyler Smith, you know, for my money, I'm already ready to go cash the Tyler Smith bankroll out. He just looks like a player, man. I'm, I'm, I just know what I know. He's pancaking Tristan Hill. At guard in a run game, he's just going to be violent. You know, he, he, you just see how he came off the ball against Tristan. He's not out here to be friends. 
and that's what we need. I'm, I'm tired of guys who and players who, you know, get drafted to the Cowboys and everybody's buddy, buddy. No, first day it pass, he's establishing his will. I'm here to play football. And everybody's going to say, well, I didn't have faith in Tristan Hill. Well, I, Foots is on record not having faith in Tristan Hill. But that's, that's not Tyler Smith's problem that Tristan Hill was a bust or can't play. He's an NFL pro. He's at D-tackle. So you're getting moved. And I just think that that's the mentality that the Cowboys need. And um, it's just exciting to see that, man. It really, really is. Um, you know, a, a, a few more nuggets, man. I, I just think that I've said this probably in every video, and I'm going to continue to say it. Micah Parsons is just the best defender on the planet, not named Aaron Donald. Flies around, makes plays, um, physical, fast. You know, I'll say this. It was also really good to see how Trevon Diggs on the play that wasn't that got hurt. You never want to see anybody get hurt. But it was good to see that how Trevon Diggs used the sideline as his best friend. He's still locked in in coverage. Um, so that was cool. Um, it's good that J. Ron Curse was able to pop up because that is was an injury that, okay, one of those injuries scare you because you need a curse to be J. Ron Curse again. So it's good that he was able to pop up. Um, he, he, he didn't lay on the ground long. Well, he... It was a non-contact injury. It looked like he just rolled his ankle. They went in there, taped it up, and and anybody who's had a rolled ankle, you know, if it's a if it's if it's a mild roll, you want to roll it. Boom, apply pressure back to it so you can get rolling again. It was good to see J. Ron Curse pop back out there. For me, guys, you know, it was a lot of good action. They'll be in pads again tomorrow, and they need to. This is this is football. This is. This is you, you, you can't you can't be physical and not practice physical. Like it just doesn't work that way. So I'm get, I'm glad that some of these things happen. Now you know what you know. And so it'll be interesting to see how things move forward. But the first day pass is in the books. I think CD's doing great things. I like the way that Tony Potter looked out of the backfield swing. And you got to get Potter more involved. And this will just force your hand. This will force Kellen Moore's hand. Hey, Kellen, you have to get Tony Pollard. It just has to happen. Pass game, flank him out, whatever you got to do, get the ball in his hands. CD's doing CD things, and that's good. Um, it's going to be a fun, fun year. Tyler Smith, man, I don't think he's getting the love that he should, but he's out there pancaking dudes, and to me, that's what I want my left guard, right guard. I don't care. All my linemen, that's what I need you guys to do. It's your boy Foots. First day in pass is a wrap. Peace. Oh, before I go, y'all. Before I go. Hey, before I go, I forgot to tell y'all. Be blessed. Have a great morning. Win the day. All right, now I'm gone for real. Peace.